Like you're trying to protect them because the league wants to protect the quarterbacks from an entertainment standpoint. When I was growing up, I was always under the impression you put your pads on the same way, you touch that field, it's open game. Not, oh, well, I got to make sure that I don't. Oh, I got to protect Tom Brady and Aaron Rodgers because they're what, what pushes our game. Nobody wants to turn on the TV and see a backup quarterback. That's the reason why football, as popular as it still is, is on a downturn. It's on a downslope because you're not watching football anymore. Now, I'm not for these um, uh, hits that's going to show, you know, I mean, these, these violent hits that's going to hurt anybody. I'm not. I'm not for that. But there was a time where you hit these quarterbacks and they got up. When you got a quarterback like Ben Roethlisberger, as big as he is and as hard as it is to take him down, He's out. I mean, what, do you, what is a defensive back supposed to do? What is a defensive lineman or a linebacker supposed to do? Go and look it up. The, the NFL is not protecting these quarterbacks because of CTE. The NFL is not protecting these quarterbacks because of, 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 of in, they're, they're injury prone. Excuse me. They're protecting them to protect the shield. They're protecting them so that the advertisers and the sponsors will continue to pump in revenue dollars to the NFL. Oh, I'm lying? Oh, okay. Oh, Big Sarge don't know what he's talking about today. You know what it is, Petty Christmas. So Big Sarge is just going off on a rant or a tangent. Look it up. Look it up. They're not protecting these quarterbacks because they're worried about long-term effects. They're not protecting these quarterbacks for medical reasons. You got the wrong M. They're protecting these quarterbacks because of monetary reasons. I can't go to the beer advertisers and sell my brand, the NFL, the Shield, if I'm not putting out Drew Brees, or if I'm not putting out their uh, Ben Roethlisberger, or if I'm not putting out Russell Wilson, now the new the new kid on the block, Patrick Mahomes, Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers. I'm not putting those. I, 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 I need to sell these guys, so I can't have you defensive players doing your job. I can't have you doing that. Because I need this money. Get this bread. Uh-uh-uh. Cash rules everything around me. Cream, get the money. Dollar, dollar bills, y'all. Don't get it twisted. Do not get it twisted. Don't look at it and say, well, finally, the NFL has decided to take into consideration the fact that these quarterbacks may take some type of hits. No. They need to have that product on the field. They need to market the big name. They need to market an Aaron Rodgers versus a Drew Brees. They need to market a Tom Brady who has won the a uh, AFC East title for all these years. They need to broadcast that. They need to show advertisers. They need to show the car companies, Ford and Dodge. They need to show Honda, BMW. Hey, listen. You can get more bang for your buck if you let me uh, run a 30-second spot right here for you. It's only going to be $1.5 million. We'll give it to you. We'll definitely give it to you. Oh, and by the way, for those of y'all who don't think that refs play a major part in the games by the calls that, they're make, that they make and that they don't have a hidden agenda, uh, go read the book by Tim Donahue, you know, the former... NBA ref who let let everybody know that refs have their own personal agenda as well. Sports Talk with Big Sarge right here on the legendary KYK and the all-new 92.3 FM. When we come back, I'll continue talking about the Texans, and we'll jump into them Cowboys. We'll be back. <laughs> 